A podcast lab, sewing machines, murals showcasing civil rights activists, and meeting rooms overlooking the mighty Mississippi River. It's all free to the public. Tomorrow, the Cosset Library will reopen after many years and millions of dollars in renovations. WRG's Jarita Patterson with a sneak peek inside what city leaders are calling the People's University. At the corner of Monroe and North Front Street, there has been a makeover to this landmark library. There is the dawning of a new day as the city's oldest public library is preparing to reopen its doors to, well, you, the public. It's been a collective effort, and we're excited of the product that we're going to be able to share. That excitement and so much more is inside the two-story Cosset Library. It goes without saying books are included. In this case, there are more than 10,000. But it is this exclusive selection, a social justice area. The library senior manager, Brian Lyle, says is just part of what sets this location apart. It is just the start. We want to listen to our patrons and say, okay, well, what is it that you're looking for? And a lot of different, as you see the, the world changing, technology become a huge component of that. There are rows of computers, 3D printers, and even this state-of-the-art podcast lab, another effort to break down barriers. You hear people say, oh, well, if I only had this, I would. Well, we, we're, we're eliminating that excuse, if you will, because we want to help people. It's a way to stay connected, as this, in many ways, is a new chapter. In addition to being surrounded by thousands of books, there is so much more, including where we are right now, sort of a dancing or performance zone. You could say this library is certainly raising the bar on what this community needs. That includes being brilliant with the basics like board games without forgetting the components a classic read can offer. We see this as a vital asset in the community. And now a completed commitment to the community in downtown Memphis. The better people are, the better they are for our community, the better they are for our city. Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. Now that library opens to the public tomorrow beginning at 10 in the morning.